Hello, today I've got this Moveo van for you. The Moveo van 63XL. It costs 83,000 euros. It's 600 and it says that it's 630 centimeters long. Actually, I think it's 636 centimeters long, though I suppose the person who wrote that knows more than I do. So let's say they say it's 630, I say 636. They probably know better than I do anyway. Never mind. Uh, here we have a uh, Dometic kitchen inside, quite nice. Look underneath there are the drawers, proper drawers, of course. Big, uh, well, not necessarily, of course, but uh, oh, this one isn't proper, it's got a hole in the side, uh, which is unfortunate. Um, Coming in here, we see the washroom, and Wes has got a sensible sliding door, and that's pretty good. What it's got is this daft toilet solution. Oh, I've just turned the lights off as well as I walked in. There's the lights, there's the lights, which I'll turn the lights back on again. And you've got this toilet, and uh, uh, what you do with the toilet catches to come out. Now, that's a great sized shower. But uh, the, where's the rest of the toilet? Well, it's round here, you see, under the bed. The bed moves up and down. Uh, there's the bed that moves up and down. I'll come to that in a moment. But the toilet is my big concern at the moment. I'll show you the toilet works, if it works. And, and we can knock this to one side. And it clicks out and it pulls out. But often I find it doesn't. So I'm not going to force it. And this is one of the problems with these toilets there. There's the lights off again. And... Uh, uh, I don't rate them at all. Right, here we've got a sink comes out like that. Okay, at least the sink comes out, even the toilet doesn't. You just have to urinate in the sink. Um, let's come round to, here's the, here's, the, here's the fridge, tower fridge, and underneath the tower fridge, there is some storage. Uh, right, now these toilets are used in a number of vehicles, including Frankie or Pilot Group. The Moveo is part of Pilot. Uh, right, so here's the bed at the back, and what I can say about the rear is that this is a pretty nice uh, rear. P really bright, I like the colours. Uh, net at the back, should be a net there, should be a net there. There isn't, can't see the point with not having a net there. Uh, what would be good in a thing like this is a USB somewhere, there isn't one of them. Here's the light switch, and the light, you see that light switch works. Uh, but this bed that goes up and down is a pretty good idea. Anyway, we'll come to the back and have a look at that. Here we've got a forward facing bench at the table, and look at all this stacks of space uh, round here. Uh, lots of storage up there, got some USBs inside that. Can't see the point of this. That would be a good place to have a USB if you're going to put something there because that's the sort of place you might put your telephone. Uh, open things there and there and there and there. And up here also we have a, um, a, uh, a bit of storage. All right, here is the bed. Let's see if they've got the bed plugged in or not. They may have taken it out and I don't blame them they have done. They, the, the thing isn't working, right? Just to make a point here, look, there you go, press the button, Not, nothing's happening. Don't blame them for that, because I certainly wouldn't want people coming in here and messing around with the motors. But before we do that, I notice on this side, this thing here is broken, so I won't press that. And on this side, they can see what the storage is like there. Right, let's come round and have a look at the back. Oh, another interesting thing here, it's on a 3.3 ton t chassis, but they say it's 3.5 uh, payload. Um, don't understand that one, but never mind. Um, that looks great. Yeah, you know, look at that. Stacks of space in there. Bed comes up and down. We've got this thing here, should you have the in the lowest position. I really do like this layout for carrying stuff and what looks particularly good in this model is it's nice and bright uh let's have a look what else we've got down here this should be the gas cupboard and if it's not then it's you can use it for uh keeping other stuff other than gas in it but where you're going to do your cooking from that i don't know uh, storage partitions inside okay that's all very good but i do like this huge amount of space to actually store things also i like this as well these partitions like that 
Okay, so that's a very quick overview of this vehicle. Let's walk round to the front again. And uh, now, um, okay, the problem is toilet at a really negative mark. We saw this damage inside. Okay, that's people coming and messing around. We saw plenty of uh, storage which could be used. Um, so there's lots of room for improvement uh, with this vehicle. As you can see, it's on a Citroen basis. Uh, high roof is good. Um, I've got an awning on the outside, we can see from here. Also, we've got the open uh, skylight as well. But uh, in my opinion, uh, one could do better than that. A friend of mine's a dealer for these, and uh, uh, he says, though, he also sells Mega Mobile, and uh, he, he's got to recommend the Mega Mobile over this. So I'm just passing that information on. Van 63 XL from Movell. Thanks very much for watching. Hope you found this interesting, and all the best from me in Stuttgart.